Hey guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, your boy is finally gonna actually be able to drive his cars. You guys know that normally in all my videos, I typically just fix cars, rebuild cars, things like that. And I see my boy finding Nick, and that's where I actually am getting this idea from. He goes out, he enjoys it, he does POV videos, he does canyon runs, all that good stuff. So I decided, you know what? Something that I really enjoy about the 435 is how this thing sounds in the city. So I kind of want to take it to the city, show you guys the burbles, especially the burbles in the morning is so freaking loud. Loud. It sounds so good. I'm gonna show you guys how it sounds from my perspective And if we see another car, you have to give it a little bit of a skirt skirt And I'm definitely gonna try to do some kind of bird out or drift somewhere that you know, there's nothing around us Obviously, I don't want to get in any trouble, but but let's be honest guys copper is it's just, it's just trouble Any got my phone. I got you guys his packages so Let's head down to the post office real quick drop those off and before we actually start this video Let's not forget about the carbon fiber paddle giveaway We have some carbon fiber paddles that I've given out. I, I started the last video. We're still getting it to this video if you guys want to enter to win some carbon fiber keys motorsports paddles just work on the e90s the f30s pretty much any f chassis a lot of the e90 chassis as long as you have like the dct or upgraded paddles if you guys want to enter to win those all you gotta do is just cop something from the store every ten dollars spent is one entry and i'll be putting all you guys entries into this website and randomly choosing one so that's for the dude let me go ahead and show you guys what kind of paddles just in case you guys missed in the last video they're on the gopro finally got one of these bad boys hope you guys are gonna enjoy this i'm just stoked to finally drive my car like is it i never get to drive and enjoy my car i think it's about time and i'm hungry i'm really hungry actually let me drop off you guys the packages to get some food let's just go take it out for a drive <laughs> what is going on guys all right all right let me send you guys to the top here ready ready looks like it looks like things are working <laughs> this is so sick like like what so we're currently bagged up uh yep 100 so that's currently what i keep my psi at with 20 inch rims so imagine i hit a car right off the bat at least we got it all on camera and if somebody hits me at least you guys get to witness it. So I guess the car warmed up just a little bit to where the burbles work, so let's hear it. Woo! All right, let's go. We're not gonna go too crazy just yet, but uh, just to let you guys know, currently all I have is a Valtronic. Oh my God. Woo! I'm not redlining it, guys. I keep it about 3,000 RPMs because it is kinda still, you know, it's not 100% warm yet. Is that an M3? I always see that M3. I think it is. <laughs> that was sick. What? You probably saw the GoPro. You probably saw you guys on my head. So he was like, what's up, bro? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm actually thinking, should we get some In-N-Out? Like, I know you guys love In-N-Out. Let me show you guys the line, too. So let's head over In-N-Out, take you guys on the journey. I don't want to redline this thing. I want to keep it kind of low for now. I kind of feathered the gas to give it more burbles. Because I only have for about two seconds each. I don't like it too long. Woo! <laughs> Damn, all right, no, you gotta chill, bro. All right, we're definitely gonna have to take a turn right here using my hand blinkers. All right. <laughs> the guy was looking at me, he was just like, what does he have on his head? All right, guys, again, I have a Valvetronic on this car, uh, boot mode three with the burble tune and a high flow downpipe. So that's why my car doesn't smell like booty. And, uh, oh, damn. Blinkers, buddy. If a BMW used a blinker, you should be able to use your blinkers. Like, let's be honest. I have an excuse. My blinkers are like complicated to use. Yours is not. All right. So yeah, guys. While we're here at pretty much our red light, so these are the paddles, the extended carbon paddles. This paddle, for some reason, not the not the actual carbon fiber paddle, but the actual mechanism itself broke on this side. So I have to click it super hard to shift. This one's shifting just fine. Uh, but yeah, these are what we're giving away here. It's the carbon fiber paddles from Keys Motorsports, but in dry carbon. It looks absolutely insane. I'll throw up a picture right here. So yeah, if you guys want to enter this, all you got to do is just pretty much follow me on Instagram, link down below, follow Keys Motorsports, and cop anything $10 or more, and you guys are automatically entered. The one will be announced in about two to three days. So uh, yeah, shout out to Keys for uh, allowing me to do a giveaway like this for you guys because uh i've been trying to get as much giveaways possible i'm actually reaching out to a couple of the companies i'm trying to do as much giveaways for you guys as possible so all right let's get it guys we're about to hit the highway which i'm pretty stoked about all right guys y'all ready i'm gonna give it a little bit of a skirt skirt um just checking my surroundings making sure you know everything is gravy in the navy my little babies oh it's my turn big boys We need a manual on the channel, honestly. What do you guys think? Gated manual R8? I 
here, but we need a manual on the channel for sure. We gotta pull it up to in and out. Let me show you guys how ridiculous the line is real quick. In and out's right here, but we're gonna have to go probably way over there. Well, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys. Uh, are those some weights? Uh, your man can definitely use some weights. Weights nowadays are expensive. So if that if that's like a 10 pounder, I'm gonna actually get my ass out of the car. All right, guys, let's see how awkward I'm gonna, like, let's see if they if they notice the camera on my forehead, honestly. I'll be like, hey, yo, I need two double-double animal style extra tomatoes. Keep the pickles, put the put the hummus on the side. What's going on? Uh, you <laughs> shooting right now? I'm just vlogging. Oh, you vlogging? <laughs> yeah. oh, bro. What's going on? I thought you were gonna go out and, you know, hit some, uh, put some money for some racing. <laughs> I, I want to, but it's kind of early. Yeah, it's so um. Exciting. Can I get two double doubles, uh, animal style and protein style? Animal style, I'm sorry, what? Protein and protein style, style yeah, okay. yeah. And that'll be all. And just a water if possible. Awesome. And you in the car to go, man? Uh, if we can, I should have it in a box. Yeah, a box. Sealed one. Lid or no lid? Yeah, lid. Okay, so I have two double double animal protein and a box with a lid and a water. Perfect. 916, bro. Beautiful car, bro. All right, appreciate it, brother. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. I'm good, thank you. Have a, have a good one. Hey, do I need ketchup or anything? You don't want to put ketchup on an in and out burger. The hell heck no. If you guys have white interior and you put your food on your white interior, I ought to come after y'all. Skirt! This is probably one of the most well-rounded cars. Like guys, it is so much fun. Plus really good in fuel economy. At the same time, very reliable car. It's at 156,000 miles, guys. And I haven't had any major issues with this thing. Yeah, I had a fuel injector go out on me, but uh, that's that's not a big deal if you think about it. All right, quick little highway pull. Yeah! All right, guys, we're here at Nilo BMW. They actually had two IAs listed for sale. I'm really curious if they still have them. Yeah, guys, <laughs> they have both IAs just chilling there. Check that out. They have a 4 Series casually sitting there, but they have two i8s. They have the 2018, I believe, and then they have the 2016 or 17, which is really sick. Guys, I love BMWs. Like, look at this. This is literally heaven for us. Like, look at this. All right, guys, so we are officially in the middle of nowhere, and uh, we got to in and out. So I figured we might as well enjoy it out here. I normally go home, and I eat it, and I watch some kind of YouTube video, but I decided, you know what? Eat it outdoors. A little bit of change, you know? Why not? I do want to go back and look at those i8s. Maybe they'll let me get inside of it. Maybe I can vlog in them, too. So I'm going to go down to BMW and see if they'll let me go check out those cars. I know I'm super stoked about it. I know I really want to check them out because uh, your boy really wants one. I know... A lot of people are like, that's not a real true supercar, that's not a true this, it's not a true that. The thing is, guys, even if the i is not a supercar, it's a, it's a car of the future. And the car absolutely excels in a lot of things. For example, I know a lot of people don't care about fuel economy. But for a car you're trying to daily, like this car, and I love it. Dude, guys, it's, it's posting so well right now. For a car you want to drive all the time, a V10 is just not practical in terms of maintenance, in terms of gas, in terms of a lot of things. The i8, pretty much in terms of fuel economy, yeah, that's a plus. And a lot of people be like, oh, well, if you have that kind of money to buy a car like that you wouldn't care about fuel economy now let me go ahead and explain this the car has a lambo door it is very luxurious 2016 and up basically maybe even 2015 and believe it or not 360 to 400 horsepower with a tune on a carbon body the whole car is made out of carbon if you guys didn't know that is actually quick and i do expect it to beat this right off the bat so i do want to check them out there's one of those things i've been looking at r8s and i8s it's one of my dream cars hopefully december we can achieve that goal maybe even like maybe around my birthday in february we'll have to see i'm aiming for December. I'm really hoping you guys will be open-minded between the i8 and the R8. I know the R8 is like a real supercar while the i8 is kind of like eh. But the i8 excels in a lot of things and the R8 excels in its own different things. So I wish I could just have them both, but uh, we're not there yet. You know, maybe one day. Anywho, let's get to eating. I'm starving. I got my water. We got our in and out boys. Oh, I need, oh, hell no. Guys, check out these burgers. Now, I know they don't have buns, but these are super good regardless and they're a lot healthier. So let's go ahead and chow down. So just to give you guys a little 360 of the car, um, yeah, so I'm I'm just pretty much out here in the middle of nowhere. This is how the rear end is looking. I know a lot of you guys have been saying to get these tail lights. I really want to get the tail lights, but 
I don't I don't know like these tail lights work they still look good and it's a thousand dollars just to change them to LEDs and I do want to do that I'm just waiting on a good deal on some used ones maybe six hundred dollars because a thousand dollars for tail lights to me I can't I can't really do I don't know I just can't justify that while spending money on these guys is a different story because that actually adds something to the car you know I, rather than just replacing something a spoiler you're adding the diffuser you're replacing but it looks so much more aggressive like you guys can actually tell you know something's been modified there for tail lights it looks like as if I'm just making it a newer model so it's kind of hard for me to justify that but yeah coming around to the front end the hood everything I mean this car I'm really happy at where it sits it just looks super 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 good the fan is going kind of wild it's super hot out today but uh anyway let's go down to BMW and see if they'll let me check out the i8 and get inside of it because it's one of my dream cars and I'm super excited to be able to just sit in it and just check out the quality of everything and just open up the door. I'm really wondering how that works. Let's head down to BMW and then I'm gonna go ahead and talk to them and see if they'll let me check out the car for you guys because that'd be great. Pulling up to BMW. All right, let's see if we can check out those i8s because I'm super excited for them. Even this, this little X, I think it's an X4. It looks super good. <sighs> let's just find some parking. All right guys, so we finally made it here to Nilo BMW. So first thing we gotta do real quick is just air out. So, uh... Oh, that looks so good. Oh, the front's too close. I don't know if we can even roll out these fenders. I don't know if they're metal or plastic. Oh, I think we sure they're metal, yeah. Might be able to roll out these fenders just a little bit, but uh, that's sitting pretty good. All right, let me go see what I need to talk to to check out these i8s because uh, they have two of them. I believe this is a 2017. And a 2018, I do believe they're both the same price. So if you look at this one, oh no, this is 2017, 85,000. This is 86, oh, they're both 2017s, 86,000. I, I thought the difference would be the front grills, but oh, this one doesn't have the blue, that one has the blue. So maybe this has like an extra package this one doesn't have. I think that's what it is, honestly. So if there's something you guys didn't know, I, I probably won't be buying one directly from BMW, mainly because my budget doesn't really work that way. Won't. If you buy a car directly from BMW, they offer you a really good warranty, and that's actually really good, but not something that's within my actual means in terms of budget. So uh, we're gonna just try to look around and we'll see what we can work with, what prices we can, what prices we can't, and then we'll look online and see if we can do any comparisons and see towards December, is the R8 or the I8 the better decision? Today, I'm just trying to see if I can at least drive the I8 and at least get a general feel for it and just finally kind of put my mind to rest is the car a really a good driving car or does it just look good because that's like my biggest question Handed over the keys to shout out guys. Team, bro. <laughs> Thanks for the keys. So I just asked, went up to him. I was like, bro, can I check out the car? And he was like, yeah, you can check it out. So I was like, I really appreciate it, bro. Of course, man. No worries. No worries. Go through it. Take a video. And if you have questions, just let us know. Perfect. So I'll let you know, brother. Uh, so we got the keys right here. So the keys is actually, I think there's two keys. There's this one, which actually is a big difference compared to like the 430, uh, the 435, even the F-Chat. This is a different key, which is nice because a lot of the cars have typically the same key. Um, it's good to know when the higher up cars, are, they're a little different. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and give it an unlock. Oh, it was already unlocked after all. <laughs> after all this, it was already unlocked. So grabbing the door. How do you unlock this? Oh. <laughs> Guys, the carbon, this looks so sick. So we have the carbon all around the door, which is super sick. The bucket and everything. We have the i8 right here. Wow, this looks actually like really small. Actually, from the videos, it looked a lot bigger, but from the from in person, if you guys actually look at the cockpit itself, it's actually very small, but it is driver oriented, which is super cool. Let's go ahead and try to get inside of this thing. All right, so here's the cluster. It's fully digital. It is kind of a smaller screen. I think maybe they have two options. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure. But I thought, I'm pretty sure I saw one that's a little bit bigger. This steering wheel, I thought it looked plastic in the videos, but no, this is actually leather with like this line that goes all the way around. We have this little cubby right here. 
pretty sick. I wonder how this opens. I'm pretty sure this is, oh, this opens like that. Driver oriented, okay, okay. We got that rear end, the speakers, these seats. There's nobody that can sit here, I can tell you that. Beautiful, beautiful, oh my God. This actually looks really good. So in terms of uh, buttons and switches, this all looks pretty familiar, I'm not gonna lie. Like all this looks like my 435. This looks like exactly actually as my 435. The push to start is here, which in an exotic car, you would like it to be somewhere around here. This, pat this car also does come with the Harman Kardon sound system. Just giving it a quick little startup. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this thing sounds insane when you turn it on and turn it off. This screen's a lot bigger and nicer. I really want to see the trunk. So let's go ahead and just pop the trunk real quick. How, where's the button for that exactly? This is super exciting. So there's a button right here to open the door and I guess there's one back here. What is this? Oh, I think this is the manual release maybe. So let's just go ahead and click this again. Pop the door. Oh my, what a flex. What a flex, guys. Carbon everywhere. This looks really good. So the paddles uh, are familiar. The steering wheel, everything is pretty familiar. It's just the airbag's a little different. I don't know how I feel about this blue. Maybe there's a way I can get rid of that. But uh, other than that, this does look super high quality. This is leather, leather. This is also leather. And this is like three different kinds of leather. It looks, looks really good. These seats are actually very comfortable. So that's a huge plus. We got another 435 just pulling up. So my curiosity is, is this like a dailyable supercar? I know in terms of fuel economy, it definitely is. Um, but let's check out the boot space and actually see, can I actually put a good amount of luggage in there? Because in videos, you can't really justify. So I'll give you guys my honest, honest opinion. It's about to just close. Oh, so you just put it down kind of slow just like that, so that looks super cool. Honestly, that's my favorite part about the car. So we have the key, here's the trunk button. Ooh, just like that. Okay, so just the glass pops up. Wow, that is super sick. It's like a laptop screen without any bezels. That <laughs> looks so good. Okay, trunk space, so you do have the charger for it. Power, charging, all that good stuff comes with the car, which is super nice. I guess it also this thing you can use to kind of cover up your luggage. In terms of trunk space, not the most, but that was honestly pretty expected. But you do have, you can actually store stuff over here as well, but it will kind of impair your vision. But you do have a backup camera, so I don't think that's too big of a deal. We got carbon on carbon. It's probably one of those cars that have the most aggressive body lines. Like, check that out, that is insane. And if you guys look over here, that also has a little indentation you guys it didn't know that or not so that is pretty sick go ahead and close this thing real quick just pull it down oh and it just clicks easy does because that looks so good that looks so good i love how it's all glass all right, i'm about to pull up my car right here just get a quick little thumbnail but this is pretty sick 3,000 likes guys and i would i will actually take i will come back over here and tell them if i can test drive the car i think they'll be cool with it they're pretty cool with me checking out the car so i'm pretty sure they'll be cool with me test driving and possibly getting it let me know guys would this be something you guys want to see in the channel i've seen the liberty walk for this car they have a sick liberty walk that's quite affordable honestly bagging it probably some wheels aero kit and a tune so this car currently pushes about 360 horsepower with the tune you push about 410 10 roughly 410 is not you know some baby numbers it's actually some pretty decent numbers so anyway let me get my car right in front of this car and uh and get that thumbnail I just came down to Audi to see if they have an R8. They do have a TT. I don't know if it's a TT RS. My girl loves that car. Um, they do have a, in the service department a, an Audi R8 convertible. Oh, oh my God, that looks good. That looks super good. All right, hold on, I need to get out of the car. Guys, check it out. Oh my God, that looks too good. I was about to get out of the car, but uh, he drove right past me. I think he, I, I think the customer took his car back. That sucks. It looked so good. Honestly, like I always go back end of the day with the R8. I don't know guys, like the i8 is a BMW and you know, like we love our BMWs, but the R8, it's an R8. So I don't really know, it's really hard. It's like, I, I know those were both really, really unjustifiable points, but I love both cars so much and I really don't know what to decide with. Oh, here you go, it's coming around. Oh, Damn, hold on, I gotta roll up, I gotta roll down the window. That looks sick. And <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my God, it looks so good. That one's definitely an LCI with uh, the like with like some full packages. That thing looks insane. It has all those super black accents, the gloss black ones look so good. Anywho, let's go check out the TTRS because I'm really wondering what the price tag goes on those cars. Damn, the Nardo Gray finish on this car looks super good. It makes my Nardo Gray wrap look like garbage. Then you actually have the TT right here. So I actually heard the steering wheel on this car yeah, it's almost similar to the R8 and it has the full gauge cluster and everything like a full digital cluster pretty much similar to the R8 
which looks super good. Yeah, this is a TTS, not an RA. Quad tip exhaust is basically like the baby brother to the RA, which looks really good. So this one's a 2020 with an asking price of 63,000. Oh my Lord. I don't know how I feel about that. This isn't even a TTRS, it's just a TTS. Or is it a TTRS? I have no idea. TTS, I think it's just a TTS. Then how much is a TTRS? 